Emperor Tengu. While you vainly wasted your days sitting on a throne in an ugly kimono, I studied the blade. I honed my skills beating up the poor and sand people. And unfortunately for you, I didn't come alone. I've brought with me an army of goats and a single unarmed cripple. Now I know what you're about to say. Something along the lines of, I surrender. Please show me mercy. But there will be none. Go, my goat children. Attack! But before we get to that part, we're going to go back and see how it got to this point. Chi Chi started out with the humble beginnings of a slave. Thanks to her friend Lanky Jim's distraction, she was able to escape into the wilderness. For his hand in her escape, Lanky Jim was subsequently beaten to death and died looking like a straight up thought. Chi Chi made the obvious decision to swim to a place called Raptor Island. Shockingly enough, this island was inhabited by a ton of raptors. But... It also had a mega raptor guarding some sweet, sweet loot. Chi Chi nabbed it and started her swim back to the mainland. Unfortunately, she still hadn't found any food at this point, and all that gear was weighing her down. Chi Chi passed out and began to drown. I'm scared! I already got a bear! I don't think I could do this! No. A bandit and cannibals. I am this close to the village. I cannot die right here. This close to food. I refuse. These couple of goat farmers took out two gorillas and survived. I'm just saying, I've been collecting groups of people with weapons and stuff, but apparently all you need is a pack of goats and you'll be good. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. Who is this? Oh, a slave hunter. Uh, no, I don't think so. Mine. Okay. <laughs> they really just let me take her. Okay. It's because I'm Rain. He's Rain the Giant. They ain't gonna, they ain't gonna fuck with someone with that kind of name. All right, boys and girls, who's ready to join Chi Chi Gang? Some of you might be wondering why I brought you all together. It is so that I can get away if anything attacks us. You will all be expected to fall on the sword while I run away screaming like a little girl. What the unholy fuck? You, you got, what? You spawn in here? I'm building my house and a beak thing spawns in it? My base is complete. Now I can christen it by getting this goddamn corpse out of my house. I've recruited a bunch of dudes and we've been training night and day to become a formidable army. It is a full-blown 80s training montage up here. Everyone crowd around the meat bucket so we can all have food for our journey. Everyone here is gonna get more meat than at a glory hole in LA. All of you just sneak into the ocean. Chi Chi just takes off like a goddamn torpedo because she's <laughs> an Olympic swimmer. Fishing village. Yes, please. I'm sure it has beds for resting. Why are they patrolling the beach? I really gotta swim this whole way to this village? It's getting in the water. You're killing me. It's a robot. So this is a robot village. They're yelling police. Are they thinking I'm the police? Are they the police? I don't know. Let's see if I can fight them. Most of my group is pretty injured. Oh. 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 Instead of hovering over my unconscious bodies, could you guys just leave? That would be fantastic. Like, this is not pause. They're just standing there. Chi Chi, run! Run! Ooh, she actually made it away. I get it. Police! <laughs> Against all odds, Chi Chi somehow ninjaed her way past all of that <laughs> into the ocean. Will they follow? Aha! This is Chi Chi's domain, the water! You're a bunch of stupid robots, and I'm a legendary swimmer. An outpost. Is it gonna be full of robots? We'll see what's in this open building. Why am I not surprised by this? Nice ruin. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me three times. Classic Kenshi. Hi, sister! Where did you get that body? 
that one you're in right now. Man, good thing I swam to Raptor Island. It is really working out for Chi Chi being able to swim like a dolphin. Unfortunately, a lot of my boys I had to leave behind. Oh boy, I get to go through skin bandit territory. In acid rain. During a storm. Yay. What is this? Goats. Finally. Something that's not a robot. And that probably doesn't want to kill me. Although at this point I'm not even really sure. This actually hurts more finding all this stuff now. Knowing that I can't carry it all. Because my group was beaten to death by police robots. God damn it. Now I'm captured by crab people. It's always something. Where are we going? To your lair? Because I've got to say, I'd rather not, but maybe they'll capture the scavengers and eat them first. Huh? Thinking positive. That's the key. I'll admit, things aren't looking great, but there's a chance. These crabs are hostile towards them for some reason. Okay, okay. Here's what we're going to do, Chi Chi. We're going to run like the wind. That is a massive amount of starving bandits. Let's attack them. Okay, that didn't work out, and they stole all of our food, but joke's on them. We just happened to be right next to a bar located in the exact middle of nowhere for some reason, and I could just buy more food because I keep all my money hidden in my sock. They never checked there. You there, assassin. I am in need of your services. Why are you like this? No, 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 no. This goat has nine polearms skill and turrets. He's got... He's got precision shooting ability. This goat is better at assassinating people than Chi Chi. I remember this place. You're the guy that sent me on that wild goose chase to find a tower with a skeleton wizard. So I just wander into this guy's throne room and he straight up asks me to go find a tower with a skeleton wizard in it to get an elixir of godly powers. The absolute disrespect. I will have my revenge. This is now my life's mission. Go, my goat children. Attack! Oh fuck. <laughs> Wait a minute! You fools. I am a katana warrior. My blade has been honed and folded a thousand times. My face. <laughs> now it's just up to the mercenaries that I hired just for this fight. That did not work out in our favor. Well, that was a little bit anticlimactic. They didn't even arrest us. They just dumped us out at the front gate. So, that didn't go nearly as planned, but we did wound him. And if it bleeds... We can kill it. 